All right, I'm recording now. So this morning we're gonna be making our pony pictures. So it was Sarah's choice. I sent something to all you guys and I picked Sarah's pony. So that's what we're making today. All right, did you guys all see a picture of it in the email I sent you? Give me a thumbs up if you did. Great, all right. Yeah, we're still missing a couple, but it's fine. We'll just catch them up. So again, today might be a little bit shorter than our other classes have been, maybe closer to an hour, okay? And it's a beautiful day out, so it'll give you a little time to maybe go outside or do something fun, um, besides painting, which is always fun, of course. All right. Uh, okay, so I, I knew to wait, because we just have Brandon joining now. Good morning. How are you? Hi. We didn't start yet. Hi. Hey. Hi. Um, All right. So, same setup as always. And hey there, how are you? Hi. Hi. Um, I'm gonna. And if you guys just want to all label your screens with your names, okay? And one more thing I'm thinking about doing our virtual lessons again for fall. I haven't announced them yet, but. I'm going to keep in touch with you guys because I would like to offer it again. I think if we do it for fall, it will start probably at the end of September. Okay? So I'll be in touch with you guys. I just want to start out our fall schedule at the studio first and make sure that we have lots of interest and time and we'll get it going again. Okay? All right. Give me a big thumbs up if you have your piece of paper and you have your pencil and you have your Sharpie. Do you have those things? All right, great. So today our paper orientation is going to be vertical. So vertical looks like this. Hold on, I'm gonna pin my screen here. Okay, I'm pinning my screen. So this is vertical. So vertical is long ways. The other way is horizontal. So today is vertical, all right? And I'm just pulling up my picture. Give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready to start drawing. I like to just see a big thumbs up. Yeah? Okay. So, I think I'll go ahead and get started. I'm just moving things around on my screen here. Okay. So, you guys are gonna start in pencil. I'm gonna start in my marker, um, just so you guys can really see what I'm doing. Oh, and I see that I have a big shadow here. Let me see if I can get rid of that. That shadow happens. Big shadow, big shadow, big shadow. Oh, one more thing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take a minute and I'm just gonna go around and do it really quick. Okay, all right, we're all muted. And there'll be times, of course, when we can unmute. But um, since this is an instruction time right now, I'm gonna go ahead and mute it. All right, so our horses are pretty big. This is my paper. I'm just gonna show you how big our horses should be. There's gonna be one here. It's literally gonna be the size of my hand. So it's important that they're really large. And then there's gonna be one here. That's also the size of my hand. So very large. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a dot right in the center of your page. You see, I put my dot right there. Okay, and you're gonna put another dot about three inches above that. Let me show you. So a lot of times I'm measuring things with my hands. Those are my two dots. Okay, and watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be starting out by making our horse's neck. So let me show you what the shapes do. So this line here goes diagonally towards the top of the picture. And the top line kind of comes down a little bit, just a little bit. Once you have those two lines there, just give me a thumbs up, please. Missing Amelia. And we're missing Sophie. Sophie's been doing the pictures on her own. She actually lives in another state, so 
I think she just does things at her own time. So you, do you have those lines? Give me a thumbs up so I know. Okay, because I'm always looking at you guys for cues as far as when I can move on. All right, all right. So this is gonna be the bottom of our horse's face. So watch the shape. So that is the shape that we have so far. And I'm just going really, really slow, just darkening it up for you guys. And then just give me a thumbs up once you have the shape. So I know, hey, Isabel. I'm glad you're here, by the way, Isabel. I thought that you had um, some uh, time conflict. I'm glad that you were able to make it. It's because I have lots of classes. Each What's that? Day. It's because I have lots of classes each day. Oh, yeah, that's what your mom was saying. Looks like you're in a lot of things. Uh, Addie and Dominic, you guys ready to move on? And Megan, you ready? Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on. I know we're working a little slow right now. Whoops, sorry. I'm trying to fix the picture on my page. Okay. So now this part, just watch me first. The line pretty much goes straight north. And if you just want to watch me first, it's always a good idea. Okay. Doesn't look like anything yet, but it will. So actually, I made the neck too narrow. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that's where I had the neck originally. It's gonna go like that. You can fix yours too. So even Miss Michelle makes mistakes, it's no big deal. So, and it's no big deal because we're also gonna be painting this whole thing black. I'm gonna give you guys a minute here to really get this. So again, you have your eraser. And if you make a mistake like I just did, which is very possible, feel free to erase. Grab a parent to help you if you need. I'll give you guys a minute here. Can I actually see what you guys are up to? I'd love if you guys um, pointed your cameras down really quick. All right, Brandon. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Okay, great. And looking at um, Dominic or is that Addie? Oh, perfect shape. Okay, it looks like Addie. Anyone else want to show me what they have so far? Okay, cool, Lucia. Lucia always does her own thing. I love it. Oh, good, Sarah. Perfect. All right, anyone else? Did we get everyone? Um, just making sure we actually got everybody. Okay, I'm Ms. gonna go. Michelle? Yes. Can you pull the camera up? Thank you. Okay. Sometimes you have to tell me these things. Thank you, Isabel. Because I'm holding it. You guys see me holding it? Because I, what I really need is like a shelf that's way above to prop up my um, tripod on. Yeah, maybe you can. I'll hold it, it here for a minute. Don't worry, okay? And as I've been teaching these classes, I realize the things I need to get to make my setup better. Um, one thing I want to do is actually teach these from my studio but we have issues with our internet there that we have to resolve first and we will that's on my list okay i'm going to repin this all right anyone ready to move on give me a thumbs up if you are i want to wait for everyone to really be with us kind of, sort of. So I actually got this picture from an adult paint night. <laughs> it was usually, usually I look for different kinds of stuff, but this one um, is like one of the ones that the mommies will do at their paint nights, which is fun. Those paint nights are definitely a lot of fun. All right, I am gonna move on. 
The other horse is going to be smaller. And just watch how I start. So his nose or her nose is going to run right up to this little section here. And again, just try to watch me first. And I know I'm moving kind of fast. So it might be like a mom or a dad with their child, because it's definitely going to be a smaller horse over here. Got one, two. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to make his face a little shorter. So you're probably going to have some erasures there too. Yeah, his face is a little long. I just scribbled it. It's fine. After we paint, you're not going to see this stuff. So don't worry about it. I know right now it's uncomfortable to look at it the way it is. But feel free to erase. Um, and don't worry because we're going to be painting over these whole things. All right. So we got them, they're basically kind of like nose to nose. All right. Miss Michelle? Yeah? You keep moving the picture so I can't really see. You know, I'm gonna see if I can set it up on the tripod. Kind of like off my table almost. Okay. Is that all right? Kind of, sort of? table I'm working at is definitely on the small side. So my tripod is falling off. I'm still trying to set it up. Now it's like too up close. <laughs> can never get it just right. I do try. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a minute here. We're gonna wait to paint these in. They are actually gonna be the last thing we paint today. Got some nice yellow watermelon, look at that, it's yellow. All right. Do you guys want to point your cameras around really quick so I can see? Check you guys out. Make sure that we're all really ready to move on. Sarah, I love how your firefly came out from last week. I see it up there behind you. Oh, good job, everyone. Oh, Lucia, I like how you drew yours small like that. They're like little pegasus. So Lucia knows because she's been with me forever. You guys have lots and lots of artistic freedom in my class, all right? If you want to do things your own way, you're always free to do that in here, okay? Art's a safe place to do that kind of stuff, so it's all good. Nice. Oh, I'm looking at Kristen's iPhone, so it's either Dominic or it's Addie. Hi, Addie. Oh, I miss your beautiful face. Hey. I don't hear what you're saying, though. Here, hang on. Addie, 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 I want her. I want to hear her. All right, I'm unmuting you, Miss Addie. Um, I made the one like this. I made this one. Love it. How's your brother doing? Donnie did this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Have fun, all right? That's what it's all, all right. about. Bye. And don't worry about mistakes. Miss Michelle makes mistakes, too. It's all good. It's part of our artistic process, and it just happens. So just go with Mom, it, all right? Can you all these my arms? Hmm? Who was just talking? Hmm. Okay. 
So give me that thumbs up if you're ready to move on. You have your two ponies drawn out. Awesome. We're gonna come back to the ponies. We're actually gonna start setting up our paint palette. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the colors you're gonna need. You guys can set up your paint palette. I'm gonna do mine with you in a second, but I'll just talk about it first. All right, so you're gonna need white. You're gonna need red, yellow, blue, and black. You don't need any green today. If you have orange, you can also put out orange. Otherwise, we'll just make our own. That's my plan. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my palette and I'll show you how to set, how I set it up. But you guys, at, at this point, you guys can set up how you like, okay? You have freedom. Hang on. I'm gonna put out a little bit more of my yellow because I just didn't have a lot of that out. I was doing some painting earlier. I was working on one of my own paintings. So all this other paint is from me working on my own painting before. I never got time to do that, but um, as a practicing artist, it's always important for me to get involved. I just always feel like I need to. So I'm part of this art competition that I join every year and it's called Paint the Great South Bay. Great South Bay is where I grew up. I grew up on the South Shore. So the Great South Bay is just all those towns on the South Shore that overlook the bay, the Fire Island Bay, or it's called the Great South Bay. Um, so that area is very special to me. So I always join the same competition and uh, I like to paint pictures of the beach. That's my specialty. So I've been out there a couple times this week and now I'm finishing up my paintings that I'm working on. I'll show you them in a little while. I'll show you towards the end of the video today. All right, so remember white, black, yellow, red, and blue. And that's really it. I gotta put up some blue actually. Where's my blue? Okay. You guys uh, have your colors? Give yes, me a thumbs up you. Yep. I use the same plate all the, all the time. That's great, actually. You know what? That's a great way to conserve. You guys, as so artists... Like I put the black over the black, green over the green, yellow over the yellow, red over the red, and white is so, a new color. As an artist, I find that it's very important to be conscious of our environment. It's just part of my artistic process. I feel like I want to clean up the earth and I don't want to use more than I need. That's always my thing. And I don't want to pollute the earth. So what Isabella is saying is very neat thing. She was saying she reuses the same plate every week. And why not? You know, if you don't need a new plate, it saves a piece of paper. It may not sound like much, but now she's already saved seven plates because we've met seven times. So that adds up. Okay, so high five to you, Isabel. High five, boom. <laughs> All right, we're gonna mute. And you guys have your paintbrushes, the same paintbrushes we always use. So you want a medium brush and a small brush and anything else you have is just fine. Okay, I'm just gonna set up my painting setup here. My area is a little crammed. because, Like I was saying, I'm still working on making my area suitable for virtual lessons. And I wanna move over to the studio eventually. I tried moving there once and it was a disaster. Look what I just did. Wow. <laughs> I just accidentally ran my hand through paint. <laughs> and the morning has just started. <laughs> wow. And my camera just fell. You know, these little things happen, but it's our reaction that's the more important thing. So just like Pete the cat, you know, you just, you run through paint, you move on. You don't need to, uh, make it a big deal. Okay, so I just wiped my hand off. Make sure I'm not spreading my paint all over the place. And life is good. Okay, uh, you guys have your paper towel, your water cup, all that good stuff, right? All right, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to start painting. How about you, Devin? Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna unpin and I'm gonna repin. And my picture is upside down, of course. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why this always happens. There we go. 
All right. And I have to just bring up my picture. I have it on my computer here. Okay. So check it out. We're going to use a medium brush and we're going to be doing some beautiful, beautiful strokes. Okay. So I'm going to show you how. We're going to start with yellow and red. And what we're going to do is make an orange. I just made like a very deep orange. Now, there's lots of trees and things at the bottom of this picture. That's going to actually be the last thing we do. So I'm just going to show you guys some fun smoothing techniques. So I just put down some orange. Okay. And now I'm going to take some yellow and I'm going to paint areas of yellow right around the orange. Don't worry if you go outside your lines with your Corsi because we're going to be painting that in later. So what we're doing right now is we're playing with a blend, kind of blending up the colors. So I'm putting more yellow. Right now it does look sloppy, but it won't look sloppy when we're finished. So you just have to trust me here. So Miss Michelle? Yeah? We could put the orange paint wherever we want in the Yeah, just pick a spot underneath your horsies. The sky is gonna gradually turn blue, and I haven't shown you that yet. So maybe just watch me first. So I think I'm gonna actually need to put out more paint in a minute. But I just want you guys to see what I'm doing. So I'm playing with a blend. So some areas are gonna be a darker orange, and some are gonna be lighter. So now I just dipped in my yellow and I'm adding more yellow down here. Okay, I'm gonna put out more paint because I'm running out. Hang on, bear with me. Oh, man. I gotta get um, a scissor so I can cut my tape here. I need my paint. So if you're at the end of your paint tube and it's a metal tube like this, you can actually give it a snippy snip, just like I just did. Whoop. And then that's another way to get your paint out. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some yellow here. And only do that snippy snip thing if you're at the very, very end of your paint tube. So again, I just wanna show you my blending technique. So this is an area where I can also grab my big brush and I could do a little bit of um, a little bit of dry brushing, which I've talked to you guys about in the past. So I just grabbed a bigger brush. So again, just watch me first. I'm drying my brush out. And now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of smoothing over everything. I'm just making it super smooth and it's okay if you paint right over your horses. So basically, it should just look like a blend of yellow, orange, and red right now. So that shouldn't really look like too much. It's just colors. I'm adding a little bit more yellow here. And just take your time playing with your blend here. This is probably going to be the hardest part of the picture that we're doing right now, but hopefully you find it fun. Blending, I think, is a lot of fun, but if you've never done it before, um, it just takes a little bit of time to learn. So I'm gonna hold my camera up so you can see where I'm at. So some areas are more red. Sorry, there's a glare. Some areas are more red and some areas are more yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit of white into this. Check out what I do here. I just took some white. I know I have this awful glare. Let me see if I can do something about that. Okay, I think that, is that better even? I don't think it's actually worse. <laughs> okay, I just added some white and I'm gonna blend in white now. So again, I'm kind of going right over my horsey. And just watch maybe for a moment. So I just added some white. It's making the color a little bit more pastel-y. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the water on my brush and I'm just blending it in. 
playing again with my blending. So it's all about blending today. Painting right over my horsey lines, it's no big deal. And I just put a little bit more water in my brush. The water's gonna help it be less choppy. And you see, I painted right over my little scribble accident. You can't even see it anymore. It's gone. And I'm just kind of moving a little bit of that white down a little bit. So it starts out very vibrant. Let me see what I can do with this. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I don't have a shadow or a glare. It's always trouble. <laughs> okay. So you see, when I'm looking at my picture, what I notice is it's very yellow here, it's very red here, and then this feels very blended. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a minute here and blend up the rest of my picture so it doesn't look choppy. Some areas are still gonna be lighter, some areas are gonna be darker, but it won't be that choppy, choppy stuff. It's gonna look better. So I'm just kind of going over, see the blending helps it look better. So really, really play with blending. You could put a little bit of water on your brush. You can use a couple different brushes. And I know I'm telling you different things too, because I did say about dry brushing before, and now I'm saying add a little bit of water to your brush. Neither of the two are wrong or right. I'm just kind of playing with both those techniques right now to get the blend that I'm looking for. So I just want to show you where I'm at. And I'm going to check in with you guys. So let me uh, just set up my tripod. Take your time here, no, it's no rushing. So it's fine if we go over the pony of those. Okay, um, you can still leave up. So listen, about going over the pony. So I'll show you mine. I did go over my lines. You still want to leave the basic shape. So it's okay to go over your lines, but you still, you don't want to like paint completely over your horses. You can still leave them light. Got it? Yeah, or, I didn't paint all over. Okay. I just did it a little bit. Not a problem. Sounds and like a great cool. job. I am going to just set up my tripod here and I'm going to look around at you guys and check in, see how we're doing. Um, anyone want to show me a Devin? I'm pinning you. Everyone can see you. Hello, Devin. Devin, I want to work with you on how you hold your paintbrush. So show me how you hold, how do you hold a pencil? Okay. Um, the way that you're holding it now, try painting like that. Okay. All right. You might feel like you have more control. And if you're doing really tight detail parts, Devin, you can hold your paintbrush the exact same way, but closer towards the tip of your brush. That's how you're gonna be able to get finer details. You'll have more control with your hand the closer that you are to the brush tips. That doesn't mean you always have to paint like that. You can play with pulling your hand all the way back like this. You see I'm all the way back on my handle. Or you can play with being much closer. So you can play with a combination of how you hold your paintbrush, okay? All right, let me check you guys. Taking a look. All right, Isabella, Pinya. Beautiful so far. You can still play with your blending. Isabella, I'd recommend putting a drop, literally a drop of water on your paintbrush and kind of blending around, feathering around. Okay, anyone else wanna show me where they're at? Miss Sarah? I'm not boring, am I? <laughs> Just kidding. I saw you yawning. Good job. Love it. Okay, checking in. And Megan. Hello. You guys want to show me where you're at? Beautiful. Coming out great. You doing it with your brother today? You guys are having your art time together, cute. Okay, checking in with Kristen, or with, um, I should say, Addie and Dominic. Hello. Just pinning you guys. 
I see your water cup. Oh, okay. So Dominic, do you want to show me what you got so far? Is there a dinosaur in your picture? Oh, let me see. All right. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a little, it's like dancing around. All right, looking good. All right, getting very playful. And I see Addie, hello. All right. And just so you guys know, it's fine what you're doing. It's totally cool. But in the painting, as we go step by step, uh, we are gonna be painting the, the um, ponies black, although you can keep them sparkly. Or another thought, Addie, is that we can paint them black and then after they dry, you can put the sparkle stuff on top of the horses to make them sparkly. Just thoughts, okay? So you can do what you like. Uh, let me check in here. Is there anyone I haven't checked in with? I haven't checked in with Lucia. Let's see you, Lucia. Hello. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Those are so cool. You know, they remind me also, I just watched Onward last night. There's all different like Pegasus type tree creatures in that movie. I love that movie. Has anyone seen Onward? No. Oh, you have. Oh, I see. Addie has. It's such a good movie, isn't it, Addie? I could watch that movie every day and never get bored of it. It's just like so fantastic. Such a good one. All right. Coming back to my pin screen, I'm going to move on. All right. So I'm back here. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to complete our background. All right. So I'm going to clean off my brush. So, you know, I just want to get it really, really, really clean. I'm actually, I think I'll use my biggest brush right now. Why not? It makes sense in this moment. Okay, I just cleaned my brush. I'm going to dip in my finished one. Blending. I'm sorry? I'm not finished blending. That's okay. You can still just look up and watch what I'm doing and then catch up when you're ready. Okay? All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys something special right now. I have my white paint here. Just put a little bit of water in it. So you might just want to watch. Check out what I'm doing. So I'm painting some white between my horse heads. And now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to gradually mix some blue in. So I have my white here towards the bottom. And now I can play with my blend. The sky starts to turn blue towards the top. So this area in the center here is the brightest white. I'm gonna bring some of that white down underneath my horsey heads later as well. And this may not make sense, so just maybe watch me for a minute. It's okay if it doesn't make sense to you yet, it will. It's just more playing with our blend. Okay, so I have this really light blue. And now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add straight blue. So there's no more white in this section. And I know I'm moving fast. I don't expect you guys to be keeping up with me right now. I just wanna show you guys, this is like a demonstration right now. So you see, I just added some darker blue or just regular straight blue. I'm gonna just take a second to wash my brush off here. Tapping it and washing it, I'm gonna dry it. This is an area where you can use your dry brush. So check it out. So, oh, sorry, this is a delay. So I'm using my dry brush and right here, right where those two colors meet, I'm feathering back and forth and back and forth. And again, I'm painting right over my horse. I know where the lines are because we drew them out. So you see what I just did? So I just blended. Okay, so that's a dry brushing technique. And I'm gonna do it again in a second. I'm gonna show you, and I'll keep showing you guys this. Don't worry if you missed it because you're still working in your other area, it's cool. You guys hear me? You do, right? Something's up, I got like a delay going on. Okay, just one of the many problems <laughs> with virtual education, even though I, I love it. It's hard sometimes. So I'm taking some blue, adding a little bit of black, just a little bit. So 
this blue black or dark blue is going to be my next color. So you can think of it almost as like ribbons of colors. So again, it looks very choppy, but you know how I'm going to fix that. And I'll demonstrate that again. So right now it's choppy, 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 but not for long. I'm going to go and tap my brush. I'm going to dry my brush. This is a dry brush area. For, this is how I'm looking at it anyway. Dry brush. Sorry, I make noises as I'm doing the different areas. That's like my dry brush noise. Okay, so I'll just show you my full picture so far. Okay, so this is our background, this is our sky. There's an area down here that still needs a little bit of work. So actually I got all this white. I think I'm gonna, this is just for my picture. Yours can come out however, but I've just decided I'm gonna add a little block of white here. And then do a little bit more of my feather fade type of thing that I'm doing here. It's kind of going back and forth. This is also going to help your picture dry. It's almost like a fan. So again, I'll pull back and I'll show you where we're at. It's starting to look like something. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of blue over here too. I just feel like it. It's like the very palest blue. It's like a blue white. Okay, this is just for me. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I just want to show you because I like you guys to have options. So I'm just wiping my brush, dry brush, dry brush noise, and just try not to take it too seriously either. We're here to learn. You're learning techniques with me. Um, we're not here to master the techniques yet. We're just learning about them. This is beginner painting techniques. So today we're practicing our fade. We've also done our fade in other classes. So just have a playful attitude about it. So again, I'm just kind of still doing my dry brush. I added a tiny bit of water to my dry brush. And I'll pull back so you can see, okay. Now, as I look here, there's an area that I want to fix up. It's this area right here. I'm not sure if you could see. I still see my pen mark from when I erase. So I'm going to go back there and I'm adding a little bit of paint. So you can cover up your mistakes. No one has to know about them. That's the beauty. You don't have to tell a person. And some of the mistakes. I always say are meant to be. So you can go along with them and just see where they take you. Okay. And I'm going to be doing my dry brush again. You'll hear me make my dry brush noise. Ready? Just allow yourself to be playful. Any areas that feel choppy, you can do your dry brush technique. If it's already very dry, something you could do is just put literally a tiny drop of water into your dry brush and then, then try your blending. That little drop of water will reactivate your dried paint. Okay, so I'm gonna check in with my friends. So sad, this is our last class. Underneath the horse's head, this is painted, that's a glare. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull this up so you can see where I'm at. And I'd like to see where you guys are at. Anyone wanna show me? Take your time, by the way, I know you're behind me. It's important for me to be just a step ahead of you guys. Good, Devin, take your time, there's no rush. And anyone else wanna show me really quick where they're at? Looking around my group. Okay. 
anyone, anyone? Isabella? You want to show me where you're at? I like your handprints. Oh, love it. Very beautiful. Anyone else want to show me? How about Addy? All right. I like your blue background. Looks like you're doing your own little fixing up stuff. That's cool. It's your painting. You have this freedom. And I can't wait to see how it comes out. It's going to look beautiful. Okay, anyone else want to show me? Oh, I see Sarah. Okay, wait, hang on. I'm going to pin you, Sarah. And pin you. Beautiful. That's lovely. All right, friends, I'm going to take a, a two second break and I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Um, I'm just going to pin my video for you, friends. And I will be right back. Let me see if I can lift this a little bit. So you can really see. Okay. I know there's a glare. All right, be right back. Hi, I'm back. Baby Maya's here. Maya, say hi. Yeah. You see Maya? <laughs> she says hi. You see all the beds? Don't put your foot in paint. Okay, right. I'm gonna put you back in your crib. She's crying. Okay. Down for her nap. Here I am. Okay, I'm back with you guys. Anyone ready to move on? Okay, Sarah is cool. Anyone else? So you guys still all working? Okay, Isabella says no. 
Devin, how are you doing? Am I moving too fast for you guys? Well, I wanted to just watch this and I'll probably do the video later. Yeah, okay, you could do that. Stick, stick with us, okay? And yeah, you can absolutely do it that way. You guys all have your own learning styles. Do you guys know I admire that? I have my own learning style too. So yeah. I'm a kinesthetic learner. I have to watch and touch to learn. That's me. Oh. Yeah. So back when I was in college, I went to school for graphic design and I needed to learn Photoshop, but my teachers wanted me to read a book this thick to learn how to do Photoshop because we didn't have smart boards. And all I would have needed was a smart board. <laughs> I was like, please just show me. I couldn't read a book to learn how to do it. I really needed the help of a smart board. I would have done really well if I was in uh, graphic design school now. I actually learned Photoshop on my own just by playing with it. That's instead uh, of reading a book to learn how to do it. <laughs> uh, we all have our own learning styles and that is very cool. It makes us all special. All right. So anyone ready for our horsies? Give me that big thumbs up if you're ready to move on. Yeah. My mom had no toys when she was small. She had no what? She had no toys or books. Oh, okay. Well, you know, we all had different childhoods. Everything, you know, everyone has their own experiences, which is beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to start showing our next step. Maya just wants to be part of it. She says, why can't I be involved, mommy? Okay, I'm gonna use my medium brush. I'm not gonna use my biggest brush. I'm gonna use the one that's kind of in the middle. Okay, clean my brush off. Um, this is the section where we're gonna be using black paint. Okay, I have to put more black on my palette. There we go. So this might, require a second coat depending on the black paint that you're using. Literally all we're doing is painting in our horsey's black. So you're just painting inside of your lines. So my recommendation is to kind of paint around your lines first. Okay, and then it's very easy to paint in the middle. Yeah, to me, this is a mommy and a baby. What about you guys? That's how I see it anyway. What did she just say? I said, I see this as a mommy and a baby. No, oh, what did the baby just say? I heard the oh, baby. She said, Ada ba ba ba, goo goo gaga. Oh. Ada ba 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 ba, Ada ba 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 ba. That's what she says. Sometimes I hear her yell her name. She'll be like, Ada ba ba ba, Maya! Ada ba 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 ba. Her name's Maya. I called her Maya Bell. So you guys take your time with this step. I'm just kind of showing you some tips about how to approach this. Now the black paint that I'm using is not super black. So what I'm actually gonna do with mine to make it even more dark and opaque, there's that word I always use, is I'm gonna put some dark blue in it after, after I put it all down on the picture. Okay, so I'm going to finish this first and then I'll show you how I add some dark blue to it to really, really darken it up and make it a real nice, crispy, dark black. Because it's supposed to be like a shadow or a silhouette or it's like evening time. See, I'm painting right over my scribbles. You don't see them anymore. It's a mommy and a baby. Or it could be a daddy and a baby. Um. 
Uh-oh, I hear things falling. Okay, so I was talking about putting a little bit of dark blue in it. I'm gonna do that now. Just see how it changes the color and darkens it up a little bit. Okay, she's so loud. I can't even hear you. Sorry, I'm gonna um, put our pacifier in in a second. So that little bit of black, I'm sorry, that little bit of dark blue that I added really is making the color much darker. So I just kind of added it in and it's making it more opaque. So I can't see through it. It was a little bit more translucent before. Someone humming? I think someone is unmuted. I'm just finishing this up. I'm going to check in with you guys. So I just added dark blue. And then, so it's basically dark blue and, and black mixed together. And it made this really nice, rich, dark color that I'm very happy with. So that's something you guys could do too. Just going to check on baby Maya really quick and then I'll check on you guys. And you're gonna put her pacifier in. Yeah, she needs her little pacifier. Sorry, I know I have a glare there. I need to wash my hands. All right, I am going to check in with all my friends. This is my picture so far. There's a bit of a glare, of course. Okay. There's a bit more that we're going to be adding to these pictures. So this is, uh, this is basically the hardest part. We've finished everything that's hard. It's easy from here on out. Do you guys want to show me where you're at? Anyone? Oh, hey, Lucia. Okay, let me pin you. Guys, look at Lucia. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Lucia, my advice for you would be to paint um, some of your green, do a second coat, and get rid of your white spots, except for your clouds, of course. It's looking awesome. Yeah, I would definitely try to eliminate the white spots, though. So. All right. And Sarah's horses seem to be jumping. It's like they're like, ooh, and they're jumping over the fence. Let me see. Beautiful so far. So, Sarah, something you could do, if you want to, is you can paint right up to your edge. I'm not sure if I'm seeing a glare on your picture. But to me, what you could do is grab some more of that orange paint and then just kind of paint right up to your edge so that you don't have a little bit of white around your horse's head. It's up to you. Can I see you your- You know why mine has dark colors? Hmm? Wait, hold is on. I'm just looking at Sarah is, real quick. Isabel, I'll be right there with you in one second. Yeah, if you just want to show me one more time, Sarah, so I can just take a look at your picture. All right, I think she's working on it. All right, I'm gonna come to Isabella. 
Right, Isabella. So something you could do, Isabella, there's a bit of white around your horse's heads towards the top. Something you could do is grab some blue paint and you can go right up to the edge to crispen up the shape. You can make it crisper just by taking a brush and going right along the edge with your black. Yeah, but I made it darker because it's much lighter than, than, than on your picture. Okay, cool. Like 30 in this picture. And you know what I like about yours is I like how the lines go up and down on the bottom. That's really, really nice. Okay, checking in with Brandon really quick. I know that you're planning on really doing... Um, okay, let me see really fast. Devin's planning on doing his later. Let me see, how are you guys doing though? I have you guys pinned. My brother is called Brandon. Your brother is Brandon? Yeah. Oh, okay. You guys should label the bottom of your screen with your names. Tell you guys for the right name. Checking in with Devin. I'll come back to you guys. Um, Devin, do you want to show me where you're at? All right. Okay, he's taking it all in. What? Yeah, because awesome. our names are... Oh, okay. okay, we got Brandon. Let's see. Uh, Brandon and... It's supposed to be Brandon and Megan. Just there we go. Yeah, just Megan. Oh, well, so Megan. Wait, what? Megan, you're younger, right? Yeah, I'm younger. How old is Megan? Six. I used to be five. Oh, okay, you're six. And Brandon, how old are you? Nine. Wow, cool. Mike is yeah, two years apart also. That's nice. All right, so I'm checking in. It seems to me like most of you guys are ready to move on. Oh, do you know what? Did we lose Kristen? Uh-oh, where'd they go? All right. I guess maybe they're going to look at the video later. Okay, so... Let's come back to our picture. Give me a thumbs up if you feel like you're ready to move on. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. Happy baby. She says hi. Here she is. She says hello. I'm a baby. I'm sticking my head up over the crib. I'm not a baby. So, are you ready to move on? We'll start doing our trees and our moon and all that fun stuff. The real fun stuff is what's coming up. All right, cool. So I did tell you we're going to end a little early today, and I think we will. Okay. So next part, you know, it's really only a, a little tiny bit more to do. This is a quicker painting. So we're going to need a little bit more black paint, and you're going to need your thinnest brush. Okay, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting the trees that are in the bottom and we're going to be painting the little leashes. So I think what I'll do is I'll paint my leashes first if you want to watch me. Brandon, look. So take a look. So the leashes kind of come from the horses now. There's two on each of them. So it's like the horses are way up front and there's these trees in the background. We got these. I'm gonna do the leashes. Wait, what are the Okay. So I just drew my leashes. All right. And now I'm gonna go right into my tree today. Okay like an evening scene. So your trees, this is their pine trees. Pine trees get thinner towards the top. So you might just want to watch my little techniques here. So just like a Christmas tree, I'm kind of just using my brush and going boop, 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 boop. Here's my first one. Okay, and I'm going to make a bunch more. You're probably going to want about six or seven trees. It's okay if you paint over your leash, too. So I have another tree there. So 
can be taller than others. Some can be wider. You guys can play around. Make the trees your own. The trees should be a real fun part. Hey, Isabella. All right, got my tree down there. So these trees are really in the background. You'll see that soon. You'll be able to kind of put it together in your head. Start with the There we go. Someone's unmuted. Oh, it's um, Megan. I'm gonna mute you. There we go. Just to eliminate the external noise, no offense. Otherwise, we hear everything that's going on in your house. Cats meowing in the background, babies crying. Right, Maya? Actually, your baby's crying. <laughs> that's why it's funny. I'm just being silly. That's right, my baby cries. She loves being part of the classes. She can't wait to be a student and actually take a class. Maya's a very fun, very cute baby. She's got a really cute personality. What? And she's sweet. On top of being cute, she's kind of just all the good things. She says Gaga. You hear her? See, I all my trees. I'm going to put one more. Make this one a taller one. Yours could be shorter. I don't really have enough room for like um, seven trees. I only have like. Oh, right, if you have room for fewer, that's fine. Maybe you're making your trees bigger. That's cool. It's your picture. You guys have this artistic freedom. You guys know that too. I'm going to make some other different trees. All right. Just pull back to show you guys where I'm at with my picture. I just took a screenshot. Not of you guys, though. There's my trees that you guys can see. Checking in. The next and last thing we're gonna do is our sky, which is a really also a really fun part. But I'm not gonna move on quite yet. I'm gonna just wait and make sure you guys are on board. Oh, we lost a couple, we lost Devin too. That's all right, he's gonna do it later on the video. We miss you, Devin. We miss you, Addy and Dominic. Come back. That's okay, just kidding. I know you guys all have your own style and some people like to watch parts of the instruction. And then I have a few that actually just watch the video later on. This way they can go and pause, rewind, fast forward. So that's a nice thing too. So I honor everyone's learning styles. Okay, let me see you over here, Miss Lucia. I'm gonna pin ya. <laughs> it is your own picture, I love it. I still would even do another coat of green towards your bottom, and then you might be finished after that. It's beautiful. And please make sure that you send me all your pictures from the class, okay? I really, really, really want you guys to all send me your pictures. Just email them. Sarah did, and I featured her on Facebook. Anyone want to move on to the moon and the stars? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, I think we will just move on. And then it takes me like an hour, but I'll get you the video. And then you can just do the rest by video. So I'm going to clean off my brush. You know, we're probably going to end about 10 minutes early, maybe a little more. I need my white paint. And I'm just bringing up my picture again. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna draw my moon. I'm gonna paint it wherever I like. 
I'm going to do a crescent moon. Does yours have to be a crescent? No. Sorry. I just realized I'm not pinned. Let me pin myself. Okay. So I just start with the outline. That's how I like to do it. So I'm just painting it in. And it's good that our background is dry now. So now I can perfect my shape. onward. Do you guys think I should put a second moon maybe? <laughs> so it could be like onward? What do you think? Give me a thumbs up if I should do it. All right. Yours does not have to have two moons. I'm just making sure you guys know that. I just, that's my own artistic Ms. style. Michelle, yes. Are you going to put her pacifier in yet? Because she's getting loud. I know she's loud. Well, I'll just uh, have her to myself in a minute. I know. I'll bring her over. You guys can see her again. So I just did my two moons. <laughs> you can have one. You don't have to have two. That's just my own artistic choice. And yes, I am going to grab the screaming baby. Maya! All right, guys. Sorry, I know there's a heavy glare. Oh, I just unplugged and my glasses fell off. I am a hot mess, friends. Hang on. Okay. All right. Got my little companion. So for the stars, stars are easy. They're literally just dots. So I did make my two onward moons. I'm just so into that movie. Such a good one. If you haven't seen it, I recommend watching it. If you know the constellations and would like to make constellations, you can. I can't think of what any of them look like off the top of my head. All right, so I just put some stars. I'm going to put a baby down. There we go. She's on the ground. All right, checking in. Hang on. I'm going to take another screenshot before I actually check in. Okay. And I'd love to see where you guys are at. You guys want to show me your work? Beautiful job, guys. Can we do a group photo together in a couple seconds? Hang on. Oh, I gotta do my thing again. Try this again. Okay, you guys ready? Hold up your picture, everyone. In five, four, Three, uh-oh, someone's not doing it. Who's not in the picture? Oh, is it me? Oh no, it's her. <laughs> okay, ready? Five, four, hold it up. Three, two, cheese. All right, guys, I'm gonna be ending the meeting. I know we ended a little early. Why don't you take your time, finish these up, snap pictures of every single one of your pictures from the class and send them over to me to my email. You guys all have my email. All right. I'll see you guys soon. I'll be in touch with our fall class options, okay? Bye, everyone. Bye.